You know, uh, nowadays I'm looking at so many debates from the Pakistanis uh, and Indians. And by God, the debates are so low in knowledge, in ideologies, in concepts, in eschatologies. It's so low, as I call always, that these debates are fallen into the category of garbage apologetics. Garbage. These Christian missionaries, especially in Pakistan and India, they do not know Urdu, how to speak Urdu. Neither Urdu, English, Arabic, then ancient Hebrew, ancient Greek of their own Bible. So all these languages, they do not know how to speak, but they want to debate. Every person in Pakistan Christian missionary, they want to debate and just watch their debates. They are worrying about Quran, the language of Quran, the Arabic of Quran. They're worrying about the compilation of Quran, but they themselves do not know the language of Jesus Christ. They themselves do not know who were the authors of all those New Testament and Old Testament. Ask them, go ahead and ask them. Who was the author of the book of Kings? Who was the author of book of Samuel? Who was the author of book of Chronicles? Ask these people. Give us the complete biography of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Who wrote these four gospels? Ask them. And by God, trust me, they were not able to answer these questions. Or they are not. Because they know it that these all are assumptions in as much so supposed to be accordingly bus this is the criterion which they are working from the beginning after 16th century king james version came under the majesty of king james in england anglican church came into existence and from there they got a hold in the bible into their hands which was the critical study started before that, Pope were, was not allowing them to use these kind of books in their homes. So they were unaware. Then suddenly when they got these things in their hands, Christian missionaries came into existence. These Bible thumpers, hot gospelers, evangelists, evang evang evangelium, these evangelists, these proselytizers, propagators, etc.